Dear students, I welcome you all in the class of pure mathematics. In this class, we will learn something about numbers. So let's start. What is a number system? Number system is a way of writing a number on the basis of a set of rules. A writing system for expressing number through mathematical symbols such as digits or other symbols in a constant manner is called a number system. Consistent manner means a set of rules. If we write all the numbers all the magnitudes in a number system through a definite rule then we can name that system as a number system on the basis of rules there are four types of number system binary decimal octal and hexadecimal we are aware about binary and decimal from pre primary to higher secondary level we read about decimals in binary number system we use two digits 0 and 1 to represent any number just for example if in high level language it is written 7 then the computer will react it as 111 and in high level language if it is written as 6 then computer will react it as 110 so computer is using only 1 and 0 to represent any type of number so a system in which only 1 and 0 is used will be known as binary number system digits what are digits digits are the characters which we use to represent a number in decimal number system we use 10 digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 to represent any number and in binary number system we use two digits 0 and 1 to represent any number so these two are digits for binary number system and these 10 are digits for decimal number system what is a number a character or characters which represent or represent the magnitude of object or answer of the question how many is called a number just for example when a student is asked how many students are there in your class then he answers 40 or 40 is the number why 40 is a number because it is the answer for the question how many numeral numeral are the character or group of character which can represent a number just for example i am taking a group of character 1 2 and 3 this is a group now through this group we can make different number such as 123 132 321 etc given in the example here through these three characters we are getting different magnitudes that is 123 132 321 and other more these all three are magnitudes but are different to each other but the group of characters which are representing these magnitudes are same so these three group will be known as numeral and these all three or other than the three which can be made from these three characters will be known as numbers what is a natural number all the counting numbers are called natural numbers natural number is always positive integer and then a set of natural number is represented by capital letter n zero is not natural number why most of the time this confusion arises in the mind of a student they have only learned about it is not a natural number but why zero is neither positive nor negative they are not both so this number doesn't come in the case of natural number and what is a whole number a set comprises of all the natural number and zero will be termed as whole number the set of whole number is represented by capital letter integer what is a integer a set consists of numbers from 0 to plus infinity and all the negative natural number that is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 to minus infinity consists of the integer any fraction is not a integer now we will proceed to even number and odd numbers these even number and odd numbers are very important to read a number which is divisible by 2 is known as even number zero is the smallest even number and in a set of whole number a number which is not divisible by 2 will be set as odd number even numbers and odd numbers are just opposite to each other in the set of whole number just for example we take the least whole number that is zero and divide it by 2 then we will get the remainder as 0 so 0 is divisible by 2 so 0 will be a even number similarly if we take 
and divide it by 2 you will get remainder 1 so 1 is not divisible by 2 so 1 is an odd number we can say that if a number in a set of whole number is not an even then it is an odd number in a consecutive numbers such as 0 1 2 3 4 5 what pattern we see that if first number is even then second number will be odd similarly third number is even then fourth number will be odd if fifth number is even then sixth number will be odd means odd and even are consecutive to each other now what is a prime number all the number which have only two common factor is known as prime number two common factor means this number will have only two factors one and itself just for example 2 3 5 2 has factors 2 1 3 has factor 3 and 1 5 has factor 5 and 1 so 2 has only two factors 1 and itself 3 has only two factors 1 and itself 5 has only two factor 1 and itself so these kind of numbers will form a set of prime number 2 is the smallest prime number what about 0 and 1 0 is the number which have countless factors such as 0 is the factor of itself 1 is the factor of 0 2 is the factor of 0 any number such as 5 4 6 in this way 0 has infinite factors 5 4 6 we get the reminder here 0 so 0 is divisible of 5 4 6 so 5 4 6 is a factor of 0 so 0 is not a prime number similar case we get in 1 in 1 it has only one factor that is itself so it is also not a prime number because prime number will have only two factor a composite number all the numbers which have more than two factors will be known as composite numbers co-prime numbers what is co-prime number so this is a relatively prime numbers means a pair of numbers which are prime to each other suppose i am taking two numbers 3 and 16 the factor of 3 is 3 and 1 the factor of 16 is 2 1 4 8 and 16 16 is a composite number 16 have all these factors 3 has all these factors but only one is the factor which is common in both so this will behave as co-prime number clear suppose we are taking the number 9 and 8 what are the factors of 9 here 3 1 and 9 itself what are the factor of 8 here 2 4 1 and 8 itself so in these two numbers one is the only common factor so 9 and 8 will be a co-prime number I hope you have understand it clearly now a specific number now when I was telling the prime number I have told you about one one is the only number which has only one factor that is itself one so one is taken into a category of a specific integer I hope you had enjoyed a lot and learned new facts keep watching for new videos thank you